Hey, you guys, what's up? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is episode five of my Sunny Days Prologues and Chapters um, Summer Playlist. Um, this is going to be a quick review. I'm about to go to bed shortly. I got to go to work in the morning. But I had to review my girl, Fabiola Joseph's book, Naya 2. Naya 2, you thought Naya 1 was her off the chain? Naya 2, honey, let me tell you, Naya 2, oh my gosh, it had more sex in there. It dealt with more family issues, dealing with Jame J um, Jamila. And it dealt with more um, of Naya's uh, um, fame to start with her rock career, more of her relationship with her mother and her father. I'm just going to tell you, this book dug deeper than book one. Um, actually, one thing I would say, when it comes to writing, I like Fabiola Joseph's writing because it's definitely something anybody could relate to dealing with um, parents who are in a um, criminal or drug lifestyle, um, especially having a grandmother that rocks and the grandmother that raised you or aunts that raised you. Um, anybody can relate to this. I like enjoyed the book because it dealt with more of Naya trying to trying to change. You know what I'm saying? Um, the love that her grandmother had for her and her, how, how her grandmother is a straight genius. Grandmama is a genius. She's slapping motherfuckers. She's telling them, "You, he, she's coming to stay with me now." Referring to Jamila, as you, if you've read book one, you got to understand it was a her stepfather was a horrible person and her mother was a um, stupid bitch that stood by her husband. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't stand mothers who put their men ahead of their kids. Your kids come first regardless. That's your blood. Dick gonna come here and there. So for you to put your um kids ahead of men, you're disgusting. I'm going on a rant all day about that, but I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, um then you have also Jamila um coming probably trying to come to terms with her sexuality and they're curious and then you read some more characters, new characters in the book because Naya has come to terms that she's gay. She's a butch, she's a dom lesbian. She's um, hardcore. She, as they call it, stupid people call it, the man of the relationship. There's no such thing as a man or woman of a gay relationship. It's either you you are who you are. You're either the stud or the femme. Or the masculine or the femme one. But whatever. This to me, I like this one because it deals with, like I said, it's a coming of age story series. It deals with a teenager dealing with um, sexuality, especially in the people in the colored communities. And what I mean by colored communities, I mean like African American, um, Asian, like Pacific Islanders, um, Native Americans, and um, Hispanic. Because most of us, we're still, not all, but a lot of the communities is socially conservative, especially towards LGBT people now. Even though they're opening up much more in 2014, it's still a lot of social conservatism too. Also within the um, color LGBT communities itself, it's still more social conservatism. And to have a parent like Naya's grandmother, a scepter and lover, especially when she was her generation, that goes to show that's what a parent is supposed to do. Love and accept your child unconditionally. Anyway, but then you also deal with, um, like I said, Nas more flings and stuff. And Jamila, say, I honestly think Jamila is confused. Um, because for one, she doesn't know. She's saying that she's straight. But I'm like, if your coochie get wet from a girl um, fingering or eating you, I think you're either bisexual or you just like getting your cootie lick. I don't know. Sometimes I don't like doing the titles because titles are, labels are so, they keep us in the box. But anyway, I enjoyed um, Naya too. I definitely think this is a school age story for a lot of youth to read, especially those who are LGBTQQ, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer and questioning and wondering about the sexuality. Um, it's good for everyone. And it really, to me, it helps a lot, especially LGBT youth of color to me, but it's good for everyone to read. I think it to me, it has a lot of viol not violence, but it does deal with a lot of um, issues in it. I think it can be read to high school juniors and seniors in the school age community, especially, but it has to be read with more tenderness and care. But I do think it's a school age appropriate book. In my opinion, most people may say, oh, it's not school age, dealing with LGBT. 
they're coming out in the closet more. And instead of people demeaning them or judging them, get them prepared for the real world. So that's why I said this definitely is on my school age list. And I definitely am waiting for nine three to drop. Um, Fabiola, so come on, honey. I gotta read your other book too, child. Anyway, um, thank you guys for um looking at my channel. Thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my video and taking the time out to check out these authors as well too. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you later, and I thank you guys for watching books, beauty, and stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.